So hi, my name is Vicky Malcolm and I teach French and German and European studies in the King's Hospital School and our project is called Auf gut Deutsch gesagt and that is a German phrase that means uh, speak in plain English. So it's a linguistic project and a cultural project. It had three main focuses. The number one was to increase linguistic confidence in our students. Two was a bit of a cultural deep dive and three then was to improve digital literacy. We were working with a partner school in the Netherlands um, and my partner Sandra Mack there. So we are like-minded people and we both wanted something that was a little bit different for our students but that would encourage them to speak. We use different ICT tools to work together and for example share surveys and analyze the data, make videos, create quizzes and organize online meetings. Um, our final project towards the end of the school year was a project where students collaborated with students from the other partner school and they had to plan and present a virtual trip to a German-speaking country. So Lergus run a competition every year for European Day of Languages where they encourage teachers to sign up for e-twinning and to work on an e-twinning project that has a linguistic focus. So that's where we got our inspiration from and we decided we wanted to do something specifically for our TY students because TY is that kind of age group where you don't necessarily want to stick to the textbook the whole year long. So you want to be learning your language but be learning it in a different way. So that's why we chose to, do, um, to take part in the e-twinning project this year. E-twinning as a whole has been a revelation for me. So as a teacher and also for my students, it has just brought so much creativity and so much diversity um, and just a really exciting way of learning a language. So for, for TY, again, you don't want to be stuck doing things that seem very mundane. So we want to encourage them to use their language. And for me, just doing these projects has really encouraged them to speak, to communicate with their peers about subjects that interest them and not about subjects that are prescribed to them by the syllabus. So that has been an absolute game changer for us, e-twinning, and, and it's changed completely the way that I teach languages, for sure. On one hand, of course, the impact on the students has been amazing. Yeah, I don't even know where to start. They have um, developed really a love for the language, enjoyed, of course, to collaborate with other young people from different European countries, but they learn so much more beyond subject knowledge, um, such as communication and presentation skills, ICT skills, teamwork, but also their self-confidence grew immensely. And yeah, that is really yeah, what we do it for. So e-twinning has been fantastic for us, um, but I do acknowledge that some teachers might find it, it might be a little bit cautious starting an e-twinning project and think that it's going to be a huge amount of work. It really isn't, and I think that would be my piece of advice, is there's so much help available to you um, from the e-twinning platform, from the National Support Service in Ireland. There are so many like-minded teachers who um, you will just have so much fun doing a language-based project with. And I think so my, my piece of advice would just be to get stuck into it and, and do it and not think about awards or be constrained in any way by your project just to look at it as a, a different way for the students to learn a language and for them to do what they really want to do and communicate. And, and for me, um, we have so many students who come back to us once they have left and they come back and visit. And for them to say to me that they have kept on their language and that they have studied it maybe at university or that they have taken that Erasmus year in Germany, that that's, makes me really, really proud. And that's what it's all about, is lighting that little fire of language learning and loving language learning in the students. And I think these projects, these kind of projects really do that for them.